North Korea is definitely one of the most interesting countries in the world. And not because it has a good culture, not because they have good food, or not because they have food, but simply because they are somewhat dangerous, okay? Now, I don't mean dangerous as in they could win a war. I mean dangerous as in all they want to do is cause war and conflict. And North Korea, they've had a lot of missile tests. They've had a lot of army um, presentations. So, for example, they had the army parade... Uh, on the 15th I believe and pretty much they showcased all of their arsenal so for example their nukes their bombs and their guns now the reason why I'm doing that all in air quotes is because BBC said some of them were fake and as you can see the Sun the most reliable uh, news source ever uh, said that apparently these new missiles which they were showing off were fake and that's pretty depressing I mean if you have to fake having weapons uh, you have a problem. I presume what they're doing is they're storing all of their weapons and showing them off as models. I mean, that's the ideal situation for North Korea. Uh, the reality is probably they're faking that they have nukes and stuff just to get uh, the US to shut up about them so they can get on with their nuclear tests. So a basic history of North Korea is they separated from South Korea. So it used to be just Korea and then they separated during the Korea War. And North Korea are communist effectively i think they're one of the only countries in the world that are still communist they're not communist okay i mean they do trading with money they have a currency they're not particularly communist okay but they're the only country that aspires to be communist so every other country's gone uh, well every every time there's a communist society everyone starves to death i think we should stop that and then north korea they're going great that's exactly what we want okay that's pretty much it okay and North Korea try to act really hard so people, you know, don't mess around with them and take them seriously. But at the end of the day, North Korea are North Korea. Like, they have nothing. So they try to show off their weapons, but at the end of the day, they require food aid to prevent future famines. So it's not that good. So should we be scared of North Korea? Well, let me just show you something on Google Earth, because Google Earth recently got updated. Now, I want to just say something. Google Earth is probably the coolest thing ever now. Like, genuinely, look at this. Okay, this is in-browser. I love Google Earth so much. I oh, don't know. I've always been obsessed with Google Earth. North Korea is here, so this is North Korea, and America is here, and the UK is here. The point of saying that is the UK and America, which are the main, uh, what do you call it, the main oppositions of North Korea, because apparently, you know, the UK gets tied in with whatever America do, you know, because we're pretty much the same country at this point. We're pretty much on the opposite of North Korea, okay? Which means if they have a nuke, it has to be a really goddamn good nuke. I mean, very few nukes can go across the whole of the goddamn world just to hit their target 100% accurately. So, it's not really a problem for the UK or US. Like, I don't think we're going to get nuked. I think that's the point. Unless you live in Hawaii, which I have no clue where it is. It's just in the middle of the ocean or some crap. I don't even know. It's just somewhere in there. Okay, I think it's here. Actually, yeah, it is here. But if you're in Hawaii, maybe there is a chance that you could be, I don't know, attacked with a missile. But I, I don't really know. We're going to survey the risk of North Korea. So, are North Korea a threat? Now, obviously, they are a threat. Because South Korea, which is one of their main opposition, is literally goddamn right next to them, okay? Like, they're goddamn neighbours, okay? North Korea have constantly wanted to have wars with everyone. They've threatened people with nukes for absolutely years. Like, no joke, they actually have. And now, uh, they're still a threat. I don't even know how they're a threat, to be quite frankly honest. I think it's just the media manipulating them. I mean, if you go on the Daily Mail, okay, guys, my favourite website. Daily Mail is a UK news source, I suppose. I mean, I'd say opinion source. Guys, not fear-mongering whatsoever. Read this and you'll never eat aeroplane food again. It's part cooked on the ground, left in the fridge to five days, then nuked on board to make sure it's completely frazzled. Wait, no, wait, what? That doesn't make sense. Left in the fridge for up to five days. You know, Daily Mail, they actually counted how many days it took. You know, that's how much research Daily Mail put into it. What's this? Exclusive Tory manifesto will guarantee end of free movement UK to leave single market and no more meddling by Euro judges and May issues her cast iron Brexit pledges. Like seriously, Jesus, where is the punctuation? 
From the palace to the party, Victoria Beckham is joined by her family, friends and fellow Spice School Mel. See as she celebrates her OBE, Honor and lavish private dinner in London. Do no full stop, Jesus Christ. Okay, Daily Mail. A little bit of an insane website. Where the flip of the North Korean things? Like I checked yesterday and there was just so much. Let's look at North Korea then. Let's search North Korea. Let's see what they're doing. Okay, right now, what time is it in North Korea? Oh yeah, I remember, yeah. Every single day I wake up, I'm happy because I know in North Korea it's night time so they can't launch a nuke or anything. And you may be going, Cameron, yes, they can launch a nuke. Uh, we're talking about North Korea here. They need to be able to see where the nuke goes uh, because they don't have any computer technology. I can imagine like someone manually controlling a North Korean nuke with a goddamn RC controller. Yeah, that, that's pretty good. Is North Korea actually a threat to the world? If so, why? Yes, absolutely. Many answers on this page address North Korea's fledging nuclear capabilities and its ability to support terrorism. To be fair, I think North Korea is terrorism. So, I don't know how they support it, okay? Because they are goddamn terrorism. They are serious threats, but they aren't fully imminent and perhaps, therefore, fail to arrest attention. But because they're so close to South Korea, they could cause a lot of damage. And South Korea is an American ally, so pretty much, if they attack South Korea, a war will brew. The reason why I'm making this video is not just to make fun of Kim Jong-un. Let's see what he looks like today. I mean, oh my god. This guy, losing weight, great. The point of this video is to make fun of North Korea, okay? Because everyone takes North Korea too seriously, okay? They're just a country who have to constantly threat other countries just so no one has the courage to actually oppose them. Because the regime that they have in North Korea, um, well, let me just clarify, they have got them concentration camps. It's not that good of a regime, I'm just saying, okay? They pretty much want to scare everyone out of disagreeing with them. Because if people disagree with their regime, if everyone hates them, and there's nothing to be scared about them, they're gonna try and put a stop to it. So that's why they're trying to make everyone scared about North Korea, so no one tries to stop it, effectively. Here's the Daily Mail. Kim Jong-un threatens super mighty preemptive strike. Preemptive simply means, like, before anyone else. The latest threat from Pyongyang comes amid mounting tensions between North Korea and America after China moved 150,000 troops to the border. China, why? China, please, no, okay? Why are you investing this many troops, okay? Like, one troop? I think that's overkill. Okay, just send one Chinese guy. <laughs> yep. Uh, can you put a stop to North Korea? Just one old Chinese dude comes up to the border and says, lol, please stop, and then North Korea, that's it. Vladimir Putin is reinforcing his border with North Korea by relocating troops and equipment including helicopters left and tanks right. Now after all this tension, you may be thinking, okay Cameron, I don't want to ever think about North Korea ever again, let alone even go into North Korea. Well, guys, there is some good news. Air Koryo, which is the national airline for North Korea, is still working, you know. Well, it isn't, but the planes don't work, but you know. Air Koryo have started new routes. Look at this. They now fly to Dangdong, which is a lovely place. I live in Dangdong, so I'm glad that they uh, operate here. Dangdong is in China. Oh, well, I obviously knew that. So well, that's right next to North Korea. Yeah, it is. <laughs> it's literally as close as you can get to North Korea. But guys, if you guys want to fly to North Korea, you can. What I'm trying to say is... North Korea are somewhat of a threat. Like, what they're trying to do is they're trying to scare everyone to think that they have loads of nuclear capabilities, they could end the world. They're trying to say stuff like that just so people don't try to put a stop to their regime. Uh, pretty much their regime being, lol, you disagree with us, get in the concentration camp. Lol, you don't wholesomely agree in our regime. Watch 20 hours of propaganda. Yeah, that's pretty much their regime, right? What they try to do is scare everyone so no one tries to enforce their own beliefs against North Korea because, I don't know, they're, they got them normal people. People are scared, obviously, but because people are scared, that's what North Korea want. At the end of the day, North Korea, they're not very powerful whatsoever. I mean, they are just, it is just North Korea. Like, if a war starts, it would be North Korea versus goddamn everyone. I'm just saying, like, even Russia disagree with them. And, I mean, it's Russia. I mean, they are extremely corrupt. And the fact that they disagree with North Korea says something. But at the end of the day, there's nothing to be scared about North Korea, especially if you live in the US. 
and UK. If you live in South Korea, uh, I can understand why you're scared and I 100% agree with you. But at the end of the day, try to add a comedic twist to it because at the end of the day, you know, you, we don't live long enough to constantly worry about one goddamn small country that has two nukes that don't even work, okay? Anyway, I'm sorry for making this video. Okay, I, I love North Korea, okay? Not as in, you know, I want to go there or I support the regime. As in, I think it's just so goddamn interesting and I had to make a video on it, especially when all this drama is going on with North Korea. Anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching this video. Uh, do not worry about North Korea. That's the point of me making this video. Make jokes of it. Do not become worried about it because that's exactly what they want you to do. If you're not worried about North Korea, you are instantly against their regime. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, be sure to leave a like, leave a comment, and subscribe. And I'll be seeing you guys later. Goodbye. I just saying this is not a politics channel. I very, very rarely talk about politics. So if you're going to subscribe because you love politics, said no one ever, just please don't. Okay, just watch my other videos. If you find them funny, then subscribe. Okay, thank you. Bye.